Panorama TV presents You Keep Shooting with Brian Peterson. Are you happy with the portraits you're taking of your children, your wife, your husband, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, friends, neighbors, runs, Romans, <laughs> countrymen? Hi. <laughs> I'm Brian Peterson, and you're watching Adorama TV. And I'm the author of Beyond Portraiture, as well as Brian Peterson's Field Guide to Understanding Photography. I'm here in New York Central Park along with Jillian Sipkins, one of our instructors at the PPSOP.com online photo school. And I'm going to share with you a really simple idea that's guaranteed to improve any portrait that you're shooting, especially under the overcast lighting conditions that we have here today in New York Central Park. I've got with me the Flashpoint 5-in-1 reflector, gold side, out. And all I'm going to do is ask my subject, that being Jill, to be my assistant as well as my subject. It's a simple proposition. She's going to hold the reflector and we're going to take two photographs to show you the difference. Subtle, perhaps, but definitely noticeable. And I think you'll agree one is much more pleasing. Without benefit of the reflector, I also should mention I'm going to be using my 7300, about 200 millimeters. Knock the background out, that because I'm shooting at f5.6, there is no depth of field issues and as a result. So, first picture here as you can see, without benefit of reflector, take a look at that. Now, Jill raised the reflector up. Of course, you don't want it in the actual photograph, I shouldn't need to tell you that, but just in case you're wondering how do you avoid that, you make sure they don't bring it up super high. And just enough so the overcast bright light hits that reflector and bounces up onto her face. Now we take a look at number two. And as you can see, side by side, which do you prefer? I already know the answer to this because most people choose the one with the gold reflector. It's warmer and warmth is all about appeal, folks. Warmth is inviting. When you say it's cold outside, I wanna go inside where it's warm, how many of us go from the cold into more cold? None of us do, we wanna go from cold into warm. Now, after you're all done with a shoot like this, you're probably going to be faced with the next dilemma, which is how do you get this thing back into the into the thing? And, and I, trust me, I know the frustration. You, you try to fold it like so, and, and you, you just mess with it, and then you want to stomp on it, and I just, you just want to go away, and you get back in there. Well, I understand. I used to do that too. But you know what? It's a simple matter of just doing this. That's it. Just like so. Now sometimes when you do that, it'll hit you in the face and then you get mad. And, but again, just very calmly twist. Nope, that didn't work. Like so. That's pretty good. Put one of these. If you do know how to do the salsa, maybe that's how it works. Okay, nonetheless, we got this little extra piece. We do like so. Oh my goodness gracious. I think it's time for me to go have a Snickers bar. Hey, until next time, this is Brian Peterson saying, you keep shooting. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.